What's up guys, Jarrett here. I don't know if you heard the news about um, some new visitors we had at Shades Green, but I'm here behind the Shade House and we're gonna take a look at about a thousand or so new residents we just got at Shades of Green. I'm Jarrett and this is the Shades of Green Show. All right, folks, if some of you heard the news, but on Good Friday, we had a bee swarm at Shades of Green. Now, okay, it's not like Macaulay Culkin and my girl. Bees flying around everywhere, that scared me for 10 years. It's not like that. Check out this photo of what the bee swarm looked like. Now, this is under our perennial tables, and it was about an eight inch layer of bees swarming under this tray of plants. It was awesome. The, a bee swarm is basically how a, a, a beehive creates a new colony. The old queen lays some queen eggs and then she leaves the colony and all these worker bees fly with her and just swarm around her. Okay, and that cluster of bees was right there just looking for a home. What do you know? We had a beehive. So we put the box, check out this next photo, underneath the bees and we knocked the tray and the bees fell down and followed the queen into the box. So from there, let's go check out our hive. We have a beautiful garden that Tim has been doing an amazing job. He needs some pollinators. And so we have our new beehive right here. And what do you know? We have our expert, Mr. Andrew Levi here um, with Plant Tag, also one of my bee mentors. And uh, what's up, Andrew? How you doing? Hey, what's happening, Jared? This is exciting. Yes, got a bee swarm. We're, it's been 10 days since these bees have been in here. So we're gonna dive into the hive, check out some status, give them some food and uh, get an update. So let's get geared up, let's dive in. All right, folks, we're here, we're suited up, geared up, ready to go, and uh, we're excited to dive in. Now, this bees have only been in here for 10 days, and so we're going to see all the work they've been doing. I'm sure we're going to see some comb, maybe see some eggs that the queen bee has laid, and if we're lucky, maybe we can find a queen bee. So, Andrew, let's start with some smoke. Why are we smoking these bees? Well, it calms them down a little bit. It, uh, what it does is it masks the pheromones of the queen, oh. and that it causes them to retreat into the hive. There's a theory that it causes them to think that the forest is on fire and they need to go collect some honey and leave. But that's just a theory, and I don't know. If, I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, but you know, it, it does kind of mellow them out, and they end up going inside. All right, well, let's crack this lid. See what's going on. Check the status of these guys. Nice. We got the exterior lid, and we have an interior lid. These bees are hard at work, and I'm already seeing you got your hive to. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look at all that comb. Oh my gosh. Look at all that comb. Okay. We may have to break some apart. Oh yeah, definitely. I'd get your hive tool and separate those frames. My God, look at all that comb already. This is 10 days and there's probably nine frames in here. Oh, I broke some. Check out this fresh comb. This is one of, I think, nine trays in here because we got a feeder. They're already filling it with honey, as you can maybe see. And then they're also, this is called a brood box. So it's the first layer of a bee, a bee colony. And this is going to be uh, where they're going to lay their eggs. So it's insane. They are so hard at work collecting so much. So if you flip this over, you can see they're already capping some honey right here. You see that honey's oozing out? See the, you know, the, co the covers on those combs. They built all this comb in this one frame in 10 days. And the colored comb right here is pollen. They're packing those cells with pollen. You can see they're kind of wet. That's what they do when, before the queen comes by and puts eggs in it. Hmm. So the queen will lay what, 2,000 eggs a day? Yep. And her goal is just a, a, from egg to bee, what is it, two weeks? It's about 21 days, 21 from, days from egg to hatch. So she's gonna get this colony that was probably over winter about three to 4,000 bees to roughly about 20, 30,000 bees. This thing full will be 60,000 bees. 60,000 bees. Yeah. That queen is working hard. Working hard. So that's what they're done. This is one, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames look like this. And this is 10 days that bees are doing this. It's crazy. So they're getting ready for a big spring season. They're gonna pollinate all of Tim's veggies out here and we're going to grand old time. We're going to have a lot more videos uh, highlighting some uh, backyard beekeeping. This uh, was just a happy accident that we stumbled onto these bees. Uh, if you've been shopping with us for a long time, you know there's a huge beehive in our old cottonwood tree that's been there for years. And uh, this is probably from that same colony. So we're happy to have a legacy bees of these feral bees uh, sticking around with some new bees that we have coming in. So they look great. 
We're going to do some more stuff around here to kind of check on the guys, maybe try to find the queen bee. But uh, stick around if you want to get more uh, videos and let us know any questions you have about some backyard beekeeping. I'm Jarrett. This is Andrew. We'll see you down the road. Thank you.